Welcome again to uh, the Future Athlete of the Week here at uh, Penn State New Kensington Athletics. I'm Scott Sinclair, alongside Jameson Nee, senior basketball player. Jameson, welcome to the show. Appreciate Thank you for having me. No problem. What we're going to talk about, we're going to ask you a few things about basketball, find out things about Jameson, and see what the future holds for both a senior scholar and the team itself as he graduates. So I turn to you, Jameson. So the first question is obviously a bit of a tough start this year, but you guys bagged your first win against, I believe it was uh, one of the uh, Kent State Commonwealth campuses themselves. Yes, it was sir. an overtime thriller they had there. Tell me what you thought about the play overall. So for me as a fan and a journalist, I see this team as tough start to the season, but just one or two things away from getting those wins. In this game, it looks like as the game went on, you captured – you had the momentum going. You built the momentum in the second half in overtime, and, and the guys started coming together. What was your assessment of the game overall? Yeah, I mean, um, we, we have had a rough start to the season, uh, but that game, I think, helped us to grow. As you know, like uh, mm. from sports and overtime win mm. it is, a, is a great uh, way to get over a hump mm -hmm. uh, it, during a season. So uh, I think the, the first half of that game was um, – Pretty poor play. It, it was very poor. Uh, and then we huddled up at halftime and, and we said, you know, we have to come together. This has to be our win because I believe at that point we were 0-6. Mm -hmm. So we said, all right, this has to be our, our first win. We have to get over this hump. And once we do that, uh, we'll be pretty good, pretty well set up for the, the rest of the season. That's good. So far, so good. And I'm noticing some of the box scores. Like I said, I got some of the information here in front of me. Your personal stats on the box scores. Like you said, you're talking about a point or two here, 10 point losses, eight point losses, nothing. Maybe a couple games didn't go your way that way. But the the thing is there, and I'm sure Coach Art McCray, we all know Art, is working the details with y'all. And what I f have found was, as I saw a few of the earlier season games and seeing the, uh, the Kent game, what I noticed is those details seem to come to fruition. Guys driving, um, crisp passes, guys hitting maybe long-range jumpers that maybe they were missing before. The ball starting to fall for you. So all that hard work is paying off. Right. So you can describe that process, if you will. Yeah, so uh, we've been working since before October 1st. So um, before October 1st, we were in the gym. Uh, our gym floor was actually still being done. So mm -hmm. we had to take gym time at uh, Valley High School. Mm -hmm. So we were doing that and Coach Art wasn't allowed to be in there with us at that time. So it was just uh, us coming together and us working on, you know, uh, getting to know each other, getting a feel for how each other plays and that kind of deal. Come October 1st, Coach Art was allowed to be in the gym with us for our practices and um, he helped us a great deal from us getting to know each other. That was a good foundation, a good start. And then Coach Art stepping in to kind of find, uh, hone those details, those fine little uh, nuances to the game uh, that's so important. I know um, before the Kent State game, our big uh, thing was defense, making sure that we were jumping to the basketball, making sure that we were in the gaps, making sure that we were helping each other out on defense because mm -hmm. that's where Coach Art – and I can't say enough about Coach Hart. He's just a, a, mm. a great guy, um, really knows basketball, the game of basketball, and really helps um, helps us with those details. But uh, we lacked in our previous six games before that um, helping each other out on defense. And I think, to be honest with you, that's one of the reasons that we were able to come out with a victory from that game mm. is because we focused on those details of um, of help defense in practice and that just transitioned right over into the game and, yeah. and you saw that on offense too because with those transition plays it did seem like i guess the best way to describe it i'm an old hockey guy so i'll use a good old hockey term for you we call it puck obviously the ball it seemed like all confidence on the ball in other words a guy would get a rebound he would either dribble or find his outlet pass again very similar to hockey he'd find his outlet pass and that outlet pass would be prepared and be able to go up court and either set up a half court or drive i was very impressed with the the combination of both there were times when yourself and sometimes it was jaw he would do a great job as yeah. well we we're able to drive the lane which was impressive which maybe some i hadn't seen before like you were saying or a nice half court setup where guys were all set up to take the threes and i believe it was uh, wilson rojas who was sort of the king of threes in that second half exactly. so those confidence of that that continuity on defense plus the ability to get the ball up court and then establish the offense seemed to all come together during that game and it looks like it's something that's going to bear out well for the future. Yeah, uh, I, I agree. I think everyone. I know you mentioned a couple guys, but mm. everyone in that game played their part and mm. and helped us uh, get that victory. Mm. So I know you mentioned Wilson. He mm. hit 
two big threes uh, mm -hmm. in the second half. You know, we were cutting the lead, cutting the lead, and then they'd go on a little bit of run and get their lead back. And then Wilson hitting those threes really, really helped us out. Mm -hmm. um, transition wise, Coach Art doesn't does a nice job of allowing us just just to play basketball. Mm -hmm. You know, be patient and set up sets when we need to. But if we can, we'd like to to push the ball mm -hmm. um, and. and get the ball ahead with a pass rather mm. than dribble because it takes less time. And if we can score quick, mm. then that's an advantage for us because we have a, a quick team. So let's put some things more general context. I mean, that was a great win, but let's talk about, you hit on, hit on something where we couldn't even play in our own gym for the first couple months, but that's because of a wonderful surprise. Well, we knew it was coming. Brand new gym floor, brand new seating, brand new lighting, yeah. brand new scorers table. I believe brand new scoreboards, if I'm not mistaken, brand yeah. new 30 second clocks. The reason we're here today to, to talk to you and build this as, you know, have these conversations is because from a media standpoint, from the athletic department standpoint, everyone cares about these athletes and these athletics and you athletes, I should say, building this program up. So what can you say in terms of you being a senior and the evolution of, wow, look at my gym, look at my coach, look at the people that care. Again, discuss right. maybe your transition or your, I guess the word isn't transition, but your evolution, if you will. Yeah. So, uh, Last year was my actual, actually first year playing here. I transferred um, here from another college, and, but uh, the, I've been around the area. I grew up in the area, so I used to come to, to games at Penn State New Kent and watch as a little kid. And that f old floor that we had on there has been there since probably before I was born. So to 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 get a new gym floor, to get uh, new shot clocks, new scoreboards, uh, new uniforms, that's just a uh, it it got everyone on the team excited for, for a brand new year. Mm. Like uh, it almost felt like a fresh start because last year we had our rough patches and we weren't really winning all that, all that much. So I think that transition and all of that new stuff helped us become excited for the new year and helped us to, um, you know, get through what we went through last season and transition over into this season. But uh, but let's talk about yourself then. We've gone through the basketball and obviously we're looking forward to a good second half. And I think it's coming as, as a member of the media. I'm obviously and a fan of the schools and quite frankly, Homer. Yeah. This is our news network here. So obviously I'm playing Homer and you're darn right I am. <laughs> but let's talk about yourself. You're a biobehavioral health major and you're a senior. So you're getting ready to roll out of here and leave this in a good thing. And I saw something a little prophetic. You were injured maybe a couple games ago when I was here. And I sort of like to look at you in a suit down there. I cannot tell a lie. So as you go in your, first of all, talk about your major and your, and what your aspirations are. And then talk to me about maybe obviously lending your hand, coming back as a graduate and, and maybe helping art out as we go through this thing. What are your yeah. thoughts there? Yeah. So uh, that's actually mm. one of my thoughts I would love. Mm. And coach Art and I have talked in the past. Mm. Um, I would love for him to, uh, help me out. Uh, I would like to continue to coach basketball. Mm -hmm. I'd like to uh, have a coaching career. So that would be a big help from Coach Hart if um, he sees fit to bring me on the staff next year mm -hmm. as I will be continuing my education. Mm -hmm. um, as far as what I want to do, um, I mean, uh, I'm going for biobehavioral health. So uh, I'd like to become a behavioral psychologist. Mm. So a lot more schooling involved in that, obviously, obviously yeah. but mm -hmm. um, my dream, um, that's kind of more of a fallback. My dream mm. is really to, to coach basketball. Oui. So currently um, I coach at Highlands High School. Mm. So I do that on top of playing here. Mm. Um, so, you know, going back and forth between coaching at Highlands and then maybe getting a coaching job here next year um, and, and coaching skills clinics down in uh, Pittsburgh. I think that I could have a, a good setup, a good basis to um, get a coaching job somewhere someday. Jameson, I appreciate your time today. Yeah. I want to catch you on the team, touch on yourself a little bit. Nice quick interview to get up, for, you know, for our, everyone to find out what Penn State New Kent Athletics are all about. So I thank okay. you for your time. and I'm looking forward to showing the world what we do here. Thank you very much. Appreciate so, it. No problem. So for our feature athlete this week, Mr. Jameson Nee of men's basketball. I'm Scott Sinclair.